Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Okay, this is food week. I don't know about you, but I am into food. You know, there was a time where uh, Rebecca and I had gone to meet um, her, Rebecca's our daughter, number four child of ours. Uh, Rebecca and I had gone to meet the young lady that our oldest, our number one, our son Will, was interested in and uh, wound up marrying and, and just a wonderful gal, Nora. But we went over to England, to Oxford, where uh, Will was living and, and to meet Nora, who was also in school there. And Rebecca and I went to dinner with them at this great Italian restaurant uh, and, and Jamie's Italian food. And it's now closed there at Oxford, but great food. Anyway, um, there, Rebecca told Nora, because I was like making sure we had so much good food to eat, uh, Rebecca told Nora that historically most people talk about five different love languages, ways that people express their love or receive love. You know, it's, it's uh, words of encouragement, uh, quality time, uh, touch, um, you know, the, I don't know what all five are, but Rebecca said there's actually a sixth. And that's food. And that's our love language. We do like food. I do like food. I mean, look, have you ever had these? These are like, I mean, this is the kind of stuff that people would have just gone crazy over uh, uh, hundreds of years ago. It's like peanut butter with a great cracker. Oh, so good. 180 calories for a pack. Anyway, Food is so important, it's not surprising that food is spoken about in the Bible over and over again. By one count at least, the Bible references food 1,207 times. Isn't that amazing? It's got uh, uh, biblical history with food is fascinating. It looks like at least at the time of the exodus with Israel and ancient Israel, they would eat two meals a day not our standard fare of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They basically would have breakfast, but it would sometimes be a late breakfast, and then they would have their heavier meal at the end of the day. In fact, uh, uh, rich people are chided in the book of Ecclesiastes for eating a heavy breakfast, eating a, a feast at breakfast. Ecclesiastes 10.16 talks about that. But if you go back, you'll see in the Exodus account, uh, in Exodus 16, 12, God talks about the fact that he's going to make sure that the Israelites have their morning meal and their evening meal. And so they would have these eating twice a day, by and large. Now, uh, ultimately, there were also special feasts days, special days of celebration in the Bible, where food was a part of the celebration. So you'll see these Old Testament festivals where God includes the special eating for the festival. You'll see weddings that are uh, Jesus in the wedding at Cana with a, a feast with the wedding. And you'll find other weddings referenced the same way. Uh, you'll find when you entertain guests that that's also a time in the Bible of special feasting. We should not think that God doesn't care about how we enjoy our food. He does. Yes, gluttony is listed as a sin, and yes, we need to take care of our bodies, but within the framework of that, he gave us taste buds for a reason. So Paul can write to Timothy, and Paul can talk about how God created food to be received with thanksgiving. And that's 1 Timothy 4.3. A little later on in chapter 6, he talks about the same concept. So God has made food with us to enjoy it. But not only that, biblically, food's an important time because we entertain, and when we entertain, we tend to have a bigger feast. We now live in a world where you can go to restaurants and you eat all the time and, and with people all around you, and it's not that noticeable. But in biblical times, when you shared a meal with someone, when you broke bread with them, you were establishing a relationship that's even more significant than just a casual one. It's, it's a bonding. Food was a bonding element between people. 
when you share a meal, you bond. You're saying something about a deeper friendship. So today, you're going to be eating. I'm going to be eating. And today, I want you as you do it to think about, A, thank God for the food. He gave you good food. Enjoy that food. And if you have a chance to break bread with someone else, make sure that you're tying into them more than just the food. We'll talk more on Food Week, but this is enough for today. It's your video thought for today.